Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress data and request security and this is our part 4. In this video session guys, we will discuss about the sanitizing input and also guys, for the documentation purpose, you can follow this link. Okay, and also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of WordPress data and request security so that you can make clear understanding about part number four. So far guys, what actually we have covered? We have seen about the user roles and capabilities which is in part two. In part three, we have seen about the data validations. Okay, so these are the methods guys by the help of which we can protect or guard our user input to our plugin. Okay, so in this video session guys, we are going to protect our user input called securing input that is sanitizing input. Okay, so before starting this video session guys, if this is your first video, then I strongly suggest you to go YouTube and now here you can find the playlist called Workplace Plugin Data and Request. Okay, here you can watch the previous video sessions to get the clear concept. Okay, so in this video session guys, we are going to take an example of this plugin that is WP Next plugin. Okay, right here you can download from this GitHub repository. Okay, this is the plugin that we have developed inside this playlist. Okay, so now as you can see that we have successfully installed and activated that plugin and basically after activation, this plugin actually makes a menu as you can see, list student as well as add student. All the basic principles of guys sanitizing input we will make from the clear from this form okay so just back to our slides and now the question is that what is sanitizing so just go to next slide so what is sanitizing sanitizing is clearing or making cleaning user input it is the process of removing text characters and code from input that is not allowed suppose guys we have a form okay right now we can see that this is a form suppose someone user has entered the wrong value inside this text box means the characters or the means special characters that he has entered inside this text box which is not allowed so how can we guard or protect our input box from taking that input values from the user okay if we compare guys this method with our data validation Okay, this is the data validation that we have studied in our part 3. So what is the difference between this and this? Basically, this is the step where actually we have given the error validation messages to the user. But in that case, we are not going to give any error messages to the user. We are just going to cleaning. We are just going to clean and secure the input that we are receiving from the user. And after cleaning, after filtering and cleaning the user input, we are going to save into the database table. Okay. So this is the separate section apart from that. This is a validation. Here, the user will receive some error messages according to the input values. But here, the user will not going to receive any error messages we are going to means clean and filter the user input values and now we will perform the next further operations okay so just go to next slide so sanitizing is just making the clearing of user input it is the process of removing text characters or code from the input that is not allowed so what are the various functions actually wordpress provides for the sanitizing functions okay so sanitizing functions are nothing these are the native functions actually wordpress provides that can secure clean and check data that is coming in or going out of wordpress okay all the basic methods guys all the basic functions actually we will use in various conditions suppose something like creating a setting page HTML form manipulating sort sort codes and so on okay so what are those functions basically in this video session guys we are going to discuss about the five major functions five important functions of sanitizing in WordPress first that is sanitizing email next that is sanitizing file name next sanitizing key sanitizing text field and final that is sanitizing title okay these are the functions guys we are going to cover in this video session and will make the clear understanding about that so what is sanitize email sanitize email is a function guys which basically is stripes out of all characters that are not allowed in an email address suppose the user has given input of email address and now we have to remove all the characters actually the email itself not allowed okay suppose here are we are example suppose this is an email address where there is some space in front of this email address which actually not allowed okay so by using sanitize email this spaces has been removed okay so just copy this email ID so before that just copy this function go to editor and this is the plugin guys that we have downloaded from this github repository okay you can download that code from there so just go to editor 
open up called add student PHP page this is the page right here okay so now just I'm going to paste it here called echo or before that let's say email equal to this is the function sanitize email and now inside this sanitize email function we are going to pass this input just copy Sanjay and this is the white space also okay so just pass that as you can said see that this is the email address and now before this email address we have some spaces okay so just let's print out let's echo email address dot email okay and dive for now so now basically what we did we have sanitized that email suppose this is the user input this is the email that we are receiving from this text box okay suppose we are receiving the email address from this text box now after getting the input we need to sanitize that email actually image contain email value contain any invalid character or not okay so it contains white spaces so we need to remove that how can we remove that by using sanitize email function so just save this file go to browser refresh that page and as you can see that there is no space in front of this email ID why because sanitize email function removes all white spaces from here okay so this is the first scenario just go ahead and copy this also just copy this email ID and now just paste it here so as you can see that there is space between Sanjay Kumar there is space between the name okay this is also a not a valid email address okay so just if user just refresh that page so if user and now as you can see that our output actually reflected okay there is no space between Sanjay and Kumar why because sanitized email has removed this spaces from here okay so this is the second scenario okay so if we go ahead and just make copy of that in this condition guys actually double quotes removed by sanitized email function okay it removes the double quotes and now in this scenario it removes the semicolon okay so these are the patterns actually sanitize email removes from this email address to get a valid email address because this function says that it stripes out all characters that are not allowed in an email address okay so this is the first function of sanitization guys which actually basically used to sanitize the user input of email address next function is something called sanitize file name basically the name itself clears that it will take the file name suppose some user has uploaded some type of file into the server okay we need it we we need to validate that file that actually file name has a special name or not if it contains any special characters any invalid characters then we need to remove before saving the file name okay so how can we achieve that this function definition says that this function stripes characters from a file name that can cause issues while referring the file in the command line okay this function is used by WordPress media uploader to sanitize media file names so basically what we did we have just make copy of that just make copy this function name and comment out this email ID first comment out also and let's say that file name and this is the function name okay suppose just get drop die die from here comment out first and refresh that page suppose some user has entered some value of file name okay suppose we have a field call upload file media and now user has uploaded some type of file and basically if he passes any type of file name from his input boxes we need to we need to clean or filter that value before saving to database field so for the file purpose we need to use called sanitize file name so basically suppose this is the name coming from the user input just make copy of that uncomment and let's pass inside this okay so this is suppose the file name coming from the user input so how can we handle that so just make copy of that and let's say echo and this is the file name okay so now if you save this file go to browser refresh that page so as we can see that underscore has been removed before the file name as we can see that we have underscore symbol before this file name but now sanitize file name remove this underscore from here okay so basically if sanitize file name is responsible to filter or clean the file names actually the user will upload okay this definition says that file name that can cause issues while referencing the file in the command line it stripes all the characters okay also suppose if we pass this name also just make copy of that if we pass this name also then in this condition of file name the 
percent symbol will be removed by sanitize file name okay so if we save this file let me check that and now as we can see that output remains same because percentage symbol has been removed just go to slides and now the next function that we need to discuss is about sanitize key okay basically it takes the string as a parameter and it removes all the special characters that actually string contains for example suppose this is the string that we are going to pass inside this sanitize key function okay basically this string value contains it's a URL it contains the special characters like colon slash slash dot symbol also and slash so basically after passing this value inside this sanitize key all the characters has been removed as we can see this is the output where no slashes no colon sign no dot symbol is there okay so just make copy of that and let me comment out that so just paste it here and let's say that the key value okay let's say key inside this key value let's say store called sanitize key and let me pass some string value okay so for now just copy this URL okay we have to pass inside this function so now if we save this file go to browser refresh that page and as you can see this string does not contain any special characters the scene is that guys suppose a user has entered any name inside this text box and the name contains any invalid characters like slashes colon dot something else okay so this is not a valid name so after getting the name from the user input from this text box we need to filter out the value by using sanitize key and here is the name actually user passes okay and also guys sanitize key removes the white spaces between the words okay so just go ahead and clear out that and let's say that Sanjay Kumar this is the name that we have written with a uh, white spaces there okay and now we are going to use some special characters and let's say that online web and something special character and let's say tutor okay so if we save this file you can see that Sanjay is a string Kumar is the string and now here is called online wave and tutor is a string but right now we have actually filled with special characters as well as with a space okay so by the help of sanitize key if we save this file go to browser refresh that page and now as you can see that Sanjay Kumar online wave tutor there is no space there is no special characters that we have entered in this string value all removed by sanitize key Okay, so now what actually the purpose of this function when we receive any input from the user and we want to restrict the user or we want to remove any of the special characters entered by the user then in that specific condition we need to use called sanitize key function now the next function is something called sanitize text field just make copy of that this function says that it removes invalid UTF-8 characters, converts HTML specific characters to entities, stripe all tags and remove line breaks tabs and extra spaces. Okay, means this function also removes the white spaces as well as the HTML tags and it converts the HTML specific characters to entities. Okay, so just make copy of that, go to editor and just make comment of that. Okay, and let's say that value this is the variable and in this variable we need to store some value okay so let's go ahead and make some space and let's say that online wave tutor okay this is the name that we have given inside this sanitize text field function but now this function contains a white spaces value right here okay so just go ahead and print this value let's say equal value okay so now I'll go ahead and refresh this page as we can see that just let's say that channel name dot symbol okay so if you save this file refresh that page now as we can see that there is no space why because sanitized text field has removed these white spaces okay so this is the first scenario if suppose we retrieve or give we get actually the value from the input value from the user and the if if user has inputted some wrong value with some white spaces then we want to remove by the help of sanitized text field we can remove that okay and also suppose user has entered some HTML tags also let's say that within B tag bold tag of HTML tag he has entered some value now we need to remove this bold tag from here how can we achieve that by using sanitized text field we can remove these HTML tags also okay so if we save this file refresh that page 
and now as we can see that b tag does not appear in the output why because html means sanitized text field removes this html tags completely okay and also it converts just make symbol here it converts also this html specific character to html entities okay this is html specific character so if we save this file again go to browser refresh that page once we refresh as we can see that this character appears but now just make copy of that just control u to get the source code okay find here the word and as you can see that this character has been converted into html entities okay so basically sanitized text field converts the utf characters or it removes the utf8 invalid characters and also it converts the html specific characters to entities and also stripe all tags okay so this is the very basic example of guys sanitized text field now the next function is something called sanitized title so just make copy of that go here and let's comment out that and let's say value again this is the function okay so now we are going to pass some value in that so just make copy of that online web tutor and paste it here okay so if we print this value let's say echo so if we save this file go to browser refresh that page and now as we can see that the output has changed what actually changed we got we got that the name we have entered with the lower case and the upper case the name itself contains the o capital w capital but now the output says that all the letters are in lower case and also the white space is removed by the dash symbol something it like looks like a slug of our page post or page okay so just go to definition the definition says that this function removes php and html tags from a string as well as removing accents white spaces characters are converted into dashes white spaces characters are converted into dashes so basically this is a white space this is a white space so basically these white spaces converted into dashes means online dash wave dash tutor okay and also it converted into lower case so this is the principle guys actually wordpress default uses when we create any post or any page then the page name itself converted into the page slug and the slug name contains the dash symbol between them there is no white space between that so basically guys these are the functions that we have to keep in our mind to means filter out or the clear or clean the user input values and remember there is very basic difference between data validation and securing input data validation the main purpose is that to give the error messages to the user about the wrong input value but now the securing input means sanitizing input this step says that we need to filter or clean the input before saving the value to the database field okay after cleaning all the values what we have cleaned by the various functions we have seen by these functions after filtering that we need to save those values in database field so in the next video session guys we will discuss about the sanitizing output means escaping where if you want to get or if you want to print our output to the output page then in that condition if the output contains any special characters any html entries any javascript functions then we need to remove or we need to escape the, those inputs from the output okay so i think guys i have made much more clear concept about the securing input and the sanitizing functions okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then just drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day